Hi. Hi, Bill and Tamara. How are you? Very good. How are you? Hey, thank you. I know it's been a long day so far. Yeah, really. It's see, we're having oh, fun. Good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's great. And so the first question I want to ask you is, how did both of your experiences align to eight contestants on the show? You go first, Tamara. How did we repeat the question? How did both your experiences in baking align to help contestants on the show? Oh, OK. Well, I consider myself as a home baker, and it was really cool to see many of our contestants become either, you know, amateur bakers or they were home bakers, had their own businesses on, on the side. I, I, I loved, I loved seeing that. I loved seeing their kind of, their, they were like a sponge, right, Bill? Just soaking up everything that they could possibly learn. And, and, you know, some learned rather quickly and kept seasoned professionals on their toes. I think even Bill, at one point, you were like, oh, that's interesting. Oh, yeah, I learned yeah. a lot. Sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and so in terms of judging, what were you looking for from each contestant and the challenges? Was it more of uniqueness, flavor? Well, we had we had a specific set of criteria that we based on. So um, concept, uh, execution, um, flavor and aesthetics, those were all part of it. I mean, in my, in my world, sort of flavor is foremost and texture, they kind of go together. Um, so that as a professional baker, you know, we, those, all those things come in, but I would say there's also sort of a, a six factor that is, um, they're, they're just their originality and their ability to communicate what they are making you know that's very important for a chef to have that confidence to say this is what i made this is why i made it and this is why i want you to try it and um sometimes professionals have that sometimes they don't many of the home bakers were very good at sort of selling their product mm -hmm. and what would you say was the biggest piece of advice you gave contestants both of you for me, I would say, especially for the home bakers, you know, believe in yourself, believe, believe in your, your talent. If you are, you know, naturally gifted, yes, there are other bakers out there that, that may have studied longer than you have had, but that doesn't mean you're any less than, and have fun. Put your heart into it. That's my advice, Bill. <laughs> Absolutely. I would say, um, so I guess I would say stay agile or flexible because remember, these are people who are working in an environment they've never worked in before. That's hard for anyone, professional or not. There's a certain amount of muscle memory you have in your own kitchen when you're cooking. Like, oh, I know the beans are here, the salt's over here. They don't have that. So they would have like these sort of mini crises where something didn't go quite the way they expected. So my advice is, you know, tur turn lemons into lemonade. Spot what's good about what you have made and be agile, adapt it to the final product. So not to be too rigid is important in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. And my final quick question, what are both of your favorite pastries to cook and bake? I absolutely... I love, oh, it's hard between, it's between cookies and cupcakes. I think, I'll just say cookies, uh, because I can get my, my children involved and it's just so much fun. It's a big mess, <laughs> but it is so much fun baking with, with my children. My daughter in particular, she just, she loves it. So chocolate chip cookies for me. Um, uh, yeah, and baking with kids in the kitchen, I think is such a great family shared experience. I love cooking with kids. Um, my favorite things to make are um, sort of yeasted breads and sweet yeasted things like beignets or bambolini, oh. um, you know, yeasted donuts, that kind of thing. I love the combination of bread and dessert together. 
Same. Also a huge fan of Cookies Tamara. Well, thank you both so much. Thank you. Thank you, Bianca. Have a great rest of your day. You too.